Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing and figure review. Today we have, from the Marvel Legends Retro line, the 3 and 3 quarter Electro. I was on the fence about these guys for a long time. Last week GameStop had a $5 Friday deal. Seen a few of these guys for $5. Here in Canada these guys are $17.99 plus tax. Wasn't too eager to jump on the bandwagon with these. But for 5 bucks, I mean, what can you get for 5 bucks? So, glad to finally have one to take a look at and do an unboxing for you guys. Here's a look at the front of the packaging. Pretty standard packaging, card figure all around. Love the artwork on the back, as you can see there. Pictures and artwork from old school Spider-Man comic books. There is a read up on the back if you guys want to take a second to give it a read. Other than that, let's crack this guy open and get a closer look. Going to be as surgical as possible with this guy. I don't really open uh, card figures. So here's this little guy out of the package. So I'm glad I didn't spend 20 bucks on this guy. Kinda of bummed that I spent five bucks on this guy to be completely honest. Hasbro selling this for $17.99 in Canada plus tax. And they're also selling these GI Joes for $17.99 as well. So obviously massive difference in these. I mean this comes with a shit ton of accessories. And obviously the detail and articulation of one of these and all the accessories for $17.99 compared to this. Uh it's, it's pretty crazy actually. The price point on these should be Man, like $7.99 or $9.99 or something like that. 10 bucks tops. Just give you guys a up close look at it. As you can tell, the paint application on this is not very good at all. Green is showing through all over. Pretty decent on some sides. Showing through here. Crappy paint on the bottom. The paint's okay on the back. You get down here and paint's all showing through again as well. Overall, these are not good figures at all. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick up. All the paint defects in it, I'll get it as close as possible. But yeah. So I'll just go over articulation very quick because articulation is my thing. I know some of you don't like articulation, find it boring, and, but there is people that enjoy it, so I'll go over it anyways. So there's no tilt, obviously his head just spins right around. His arms just go all the way around, that's the only move for his arms. His wrist spins all the way around. No articulation in the hands or anything like that. There's no pivot at the waist or any kind of articulation at the waist. It is like goes up this far, goes back this far. And it looks like there's a cut there for the leg, but there's no articulation in the leg as well. It's funny because his boots, you can tell there his boots and his hands are very, very soft plastic as opposed to the rest of his body, which is kind of stiffer and harder plastic. I'm sure there is a market for this stuff, but it's just not for me right now. Articulation on this guy, man, pretty much the same as a six inch Marvel Legend or a six inch G.I. Joe. And this one, like I said, I know it's a I know it's a retro character, I know that's the way it's supposed to be. But come on man, Hasbro do better on the price. You can't charge the same price for this as you're charging for something like this and a Star Wars that are fully articulated, fully detailed. Comes with accessories. Seriously, this is a G.I. Joe from the 80s, man. And look at the articulation in this. Like there's movement out of the head and all around and that kind of stuff. His arms come up all around. Body hips swivel. Articulation in his waist, his legs, everything moves. And you get this piece of crap. It does nothing. Somewhat negative review. I try not to be negative in my reviews, but for what Hasbro is charging for these guys, uh, I can't help but to be negative. I'm on a love-hate relationship with Hasbro right now as is, so when I see something greedy like this, it really bugs me to be honest. These cost $17.99 in Canada plus taxes, so almost $20. I paid $5 plus tax, which came to $5.75, and I still feel like I got ripped off. So that's it, guys. I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. So that's 6 out of 10 is based, obviously, on price point. Uh, very limited articulation. I know it's a retro figure, but... So are these. These are retro figures too, and they're freaking amazing. And very poor paint application. But for some reason, man, there's this nostalgia to it that you can probably understand why people are buying them. But for me, man, for the price over what I actually get for my money, I think it's better off spent somewhere else. One more closer look all around. Zoom in a bit so you can see this guy. If it's any smaller, you need a microscope. It does look pretty cool at the same time. The price point, man, really, really bugs me about this figure. 
That's it for our review. Thanks for watching. Comment below. Let us know what you think of this figure. What do you think about their selling price? Do you collect these guys? Or are you avoiding these guys like me? Just because of the price. And if you've been here before, you like our reviews, you like our content, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell to keep you up to date. If you enjoyed this video, as negative as the video and my opinion is on this one, if you still like it, smash that like button. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Keep collecting and stay safe.